what's up you guys welcome back to the farm today we are going to spray our corn and hopefully our wheat field as well um, I said yesterday that I was going to edit the speed on this sprayer and I have uh, I can run 18 miles an hour okay that's the max speed probably a little faster than we should be going which we are going to crank that down a little bit. We'll run about, I think we'll run maybe 14. We'll run with that. That's plenty fast for us. Um, I changed the speed number from 12 to like 30. Uh, it was originally set at 12 and I upped it to 30. Figured that's fast enough. And then I can just use cruise control to adjust you know, to set it at a slower speed, or maybe I want to go all the way up at 18. But in this case, I don't want to be going 18. Uh, 14 is plenty. That is twice as fast as we were going before. So, uh, we'll maybe bump that up just 1 to 15. That should be just fine right there. So we are just two days away. Actually, only a day away. I think from our uh, beginning of wheat harvest we will be harvesting in a day or two we'll see I'm not exactly sure uh, how long but we will be harvesting in a day or two of videos it's a day in game but video wise it's a day or two I'm not exactly sure yet at this moment but uh, it'll be very, very soon. I'm getting super pumped for that. I am ready to start harvesting. <clears throat> uh, I did delete the light add-on mod. The only thing that I did not do, or things that I did not do that I said I was going to do uh, at the end of last yesterday's video, is I said I was going to program new buttons or program some buttons for HUD hider and stuff and uh, delete the one about this with the straps but I did not do that that is the one thing that I did not do yet but I will do that um, I did bring in the new grain cart that uh, we're gonna be using on this series once we buy a grain cart I'll show you that uh, here once we get to the end of the field and then I don't have to shut the sprayer off just wait until we're at the end here okay if we go to auger wagons it is right here a uh, John Deere 500 it is seven thousand nine hundred fifty dollars and it is seven holds seventeen thousand six hundred nineteen liters also we're gonna buy the uh, Sakundiac Sakundiac however you pronounce that stupid thing and uh, we'll just have that reset to our farm here. Um, and it, it is the light add-on script that was doing it. Uh, as you saw yesterday when I tried buying it before, it threw an error involving the light add-on. Um, and then once I deleted that, it works fine. I actually did just like completely delete that script. Um, I didn't just take it out of the save game. I deleted it in general. Uh, there was also a grain truck. Uh, it's a Peterbilt 389 grain truck that I have. That also does not play nice with that uh, light add-on script. So uh, deleting that script also will allow me to use that truck a little more. So uh, in fact just be able to use it I uh, used it once or like a couple of times before I downloaded that light add-on script and then after that I haven't been able to use it because uh, I always forget to you know take that out of the save game so I just took it completely out uh, the only reason I ever really downloaded that in the first place was because it's listed as a required mod or maybe it was just recommended but it was listed in the download for the DJI Phantom uh, for drone mod but I don't really use the drone a whole lot and I guess if I ever do I can just go dig through my downloads folder and grab that light add-on script and throw it in quick uh, to use you know while I use that drone but 
like I said, I've I've used the drone once since I downloaded it, and that was just to test it out, basically. Like, I haven't used it for anything since. So I have really no purpose to have the drone. Um, which I am going to delete that drone mod, I just haven't u deleted that yet. But, um... I do need to delete a few other mods as well, but I just haven't yet. But I was testing out some other mods when I tested out the sprayers here. Alright, so we got that field done. So let's go ahead, we got round two, Furt on Cornfield. And then we need to put round two, not on that field, but on our wheat field here. Now we need to run over to the wheat field. Uh, we do actually need to fill this first. Because we are running a little bit low. So we'll refill this and then we'll go do our uh, wheat field. I don't know. We might have to spray again while it's... Like after it's fully grown. Um, just because... I think I was a little bit off in my growth stages. Um, I think I should have sprayed just before things grew. So I'll keep that in mind for next season. We're just going to sneak on up through here and fill this. And while this fills, we'll go ahead and get... Oh, that's right, we can't tap to it. We're going to go ahead and grab our auger here. Oh, yeah, it would help to put these wheels down, probably. And of course it's spawned into the tree. This is kind of a dumb place to have put your reset point, but like I guess it wouldn't be bad just get rid of the trees or else like move it forward some so that once you do reset stuff, you're not in the trees. And like deleting like removing that middle tree there. That one is a that one isn't really needed, I don't think. That one's just in the way. Nothing but in the way. So this we're just going to set behind the fuel tank and we'll use the pickup later on and pull it over to our bins because it'll be much faster than driving this thing all over Tarnation because this thing is super slow. So it'll be much faster to do it that way. Alright, let's go take care of this wheat field here. Jeez, we're only like nine minutes in. Not even quite yet. It is much nicer though with the uh, faster um, spraying speed. Because before that was just kind of ridiculous there at 7 miles an hour. That's right, it's recognizing where the fertilizer went. So I can kind of see it. Not super well, but I can kind of see it. And I can see it a little bit better than with the fertilizer. And of course, the stupid hired thing is trying to kick itself in. Trying to get to where we're not, we're like, we don't have any things shut off, so I can get a good screenshot. I can't really tell where, I think it's just up here that we stopped, 
it the uh, spreader. Yep, there we go. There's where we stopped. somewhat see it. It's not very well though that I can see it. But we'll be able to tell with, uh, that's the nice thing about this sprayer add-on script. We'll be able to tell where we have gone because we'll be able to tell just by judging, we'll be able to judge where we were just by noticing how many uh, sections are shut off on the boom. So if I can't quite tell and I think I'm overlapping, I'll be able to know for sure if I am because the, um, you know, the booms will be shut off or the sections will be shut off versus, you know, otherwise it just keeps running. helps too that we've sprayed it once already so I kind of remember like how it worked in this field here like I can remember that you know this part was just a one pass in and a one pass out and that's done Like this first round is going to be the easiest because we just we're going off the edge of the field but afterwards it's going to be kind of tough I'm anxious to get back to the other end just so we can start going around again just to see how difficult this might be Now I'm sure it maybe is a little unrealistic as to how fast we actually are going, but it's definitely better than the 7 miles an hour that we were going before. I'm sure everybody can actually agree on that, uh, that this is much nicer than before, much faster. Oh jeez. But it is probably a little unrealistic, yes, but... Whoa. So I'm going to try and keep it so there's always one boom off, if possible, because that'll help me gauge where I am, because if I can keep one of them off at all times, it'll tell me that, you know, that I'm kind of right beside it here. If I could only zoom out just a little bit farther, it would be perfect. We're going to have to spray like this right now. Oops. I don't want to go too far, I guess. Otherwise, I totally mess up the camera. Holy smokes. I just messed up there. Thanks to the camera messing up, that is. I don't know if there's anything. Oh, there's a little bit down here. This is definitely difficult, holy smokes. But we're getting it. Little bit by little bit. <laughs> it might be a little bit easier, like when it, you know, if we have to spray when it's fully grown. It may be just a little bit easier. Holy smokes, where are we at here? There we go. It may be a little bit easier because we might be able to see the ground a little bit clearer. 
I'm not sure. Goodness, this is hard. This is very hard. Oh boy, I got the whole sprayer running. That's not good. Probably missing some stuff then. There we go. Now I can kind of see it. So we should only have just a little bit left to spray in this field. Huh? Holy smokes. That was way off. Way off. Goodness. Okay, well that's the whole field there. Come on. This dumb hired worker thing, I swear. It is the most annoying thing ever. Okay, so we're just a little over halfway through this video so I think let's go ahead we're gonna fast forward here um, first we're gonna put down check yeah, there's the rain demand for crushed corn basically there so wheat 57 percent so this should either be on its last stage or it should be ready for harvest now because I think it's still fertilized isn't it if it's still fertilized then it hasn't gone a growth stage yet Uh, let's run over here and hop in the sprayer once. Let's just see if we can spray again. Well, I guess I should be able to tell by going over this soybean field. Uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot tell at all. I'm probably not going to be very able to tell very well in this either. Well, I guess when we turn the sprayer on... Yeah, it's not spraying. So that means that we have done this, or that it hasn't, you know, like it hasn't gone to growth stage. Basically, is what that means. So we need to go another day. So it's getting some rain on it. So we're gonna go to day three, and then this should be fully grown and ready for harvest now. Soon, anyways, I'll let it kick in here. Our growth cycle hasn't come through yet. It should, though. I mean, we're well into our harvest season now. Come on, grow. This is 42%. This is what, 28%. Do I need to go another day? Goodness. Yeah, 
Now it should be ready for harvest. What the world? There it goes. So it is a hundred percent grown on there. These are forty two percent. And our corn should be Yeah, it's still about fifty seven. So actually we should be okay on our fertilizer for these fields. Uh for that field anyways. We'll head on over here and we'll do our soybean field again. We'll hit that. So then we should be okay on our round three of wheat. So then we're going to go do our round two on our beans here. We should be able to finish up our beans here and our corn. Uh, whoops. I forgot that I was going to take out that sign because it was on. <laughs> or because it was unfolded, I mean. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, hit these once. This is an in and out pass as well again here. So then we should need to spray this and our corn ground once more between now and uh, harvest season for soybeans and corn. It could be, I don't remember what day it was now, like what day in spring, if it was like the second day or third day or what what day it was of spring that we uh, planted. Because I'm sure that that has something to do with like our when our crop is done. Uh, I bet you that's probably the reason that it's not like, you know, wasn't done right away. Uh, that's my guess anyways. Uh, this stupid thing is driving me nuts. I need to fix it. Still. Yes, still. I need to fix it. This is probably only taking us, yeah, this is taking us like just about a minute to spray, that's about it. Definitely is not taking very long. Not long at all now that we changed our speed. We're just going to leave it unfolded because we're just going to jump across the road up here. So there's not much of a point. Yeah, so our yield may not be super duper awesome on our wheat because we only got two um, fertilization cycles in. But I bet, oh man, but I bet it's probably because I missed, I bet I missed a growth season or like a growth cycle and I started spraying on the second cycle. I bet you that's what happened. So, so tomorrow we will start combining. Uh, start combining our wheat. So we're gonna, after we spray this field, we're gonna wash up this tractor. And well, we have to spray our cornfield too, but. Uh, after we finish our spraying, we're going to wash this tractor and we're going to hook this up to the uh, Farm King and we're going to put it up to the bin that we're going to be, well, uh, we're going to have to open up the wheat field first, but we're going to hook this up to the Farm King and then uh, hook our case up to the gravity wagon. And uh, we're gonna get our equipment ready for harvest so we can start that tomorrow. 
I do want to pop over to the dairy farm once too and just check on our hay bales and kind of see what what they're looking like let's actually do that right now let's jump over here I gotta open these doors a little bit so I can walk through them I'm just gonna leave them open for now uh oh yep our hay is all gone so I'll remake hay off camera I'll do that um, we'll do that like after harvest and whatever we'll wait to do it ah that sucks it's not like it is with um, um, you know when you're running soil mod on a or seasons mod excuse me on a map that's not seasons mod ready they, where they disappear after two days it's there's some script that makes it seem realistic in a way or supposed to seem realistic where you're like when it gets rained on and stuff which is probably what the case was there that it got rained on a couple of times which kind of stinks that the rain doesn't register that there's buildings uh, I really wish that giants would fix that so that way we can actually have hay and not have it get ruined by rain because the rain is going through the shed doors I mean that's just plain ridiculous that that's happening there's no reason that the rain should be going through the shed roof you know what I mean that's kind of ridiculous Giants needs to fix that um, that's something that they should have had a long time ago really uh, I mean cattle and crops has that already and you know they haven't even finished their game so I mean that kind of shows that you know they're they're ready for that kind of stuff already Giants they just they haven't done that and that is something that they need to get going on because it's ridiculous that they haven't you know especially now with seasons mod being in the game they really need to step up their game and fix that because if they don't seasons mods just a pain because you can't keep your hay around because it gets wet because the rain goes through the shed I mean come on Giants really like that's something that you should fix and should have fixed from the starting of time really I mean that's something that should have been fixed long before even 13 really but that's just me I'm just putting that out there because that's something that they really should have fixed a long time ago we're just gonna pop across like this go right across this little ravine ruin our PTO but who cares not us at the moment yeah you definitely would not be spraying the corn like this I don't think <laughs> but we are but yeah, I really wish that Giants would just fix that and, you know, that would be so nice, but whatever. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to remake some hay, uh, which, you know, I'll just do it off camera because we've done it once. No need to show it again when, like, it's just to fix something. Um, you know, we're just going to fix something that happened, so... I should have really thought about that. I didn't think that that would actually happen. I was not, you know, certain on that. I did notice that it was losing a little bit, but I didn't think that it would, like, all of our bales would disappear in a couple of days. So we're going to have to take care of that. Which really stinks. But... I'll work on it at some point I'll probably wait until we're done harvesting I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wait to do that until like the very last day 
of um, when we can cut hay. Uh, I think I'll wait to do it until that day, because then it'll, you know, then we're as close to winter time as we can get while still being able to do our hay and stuff. So I think that'll work uh, okay that way. I might have to do some messing around here. Um, plant, you know, like a field and do one strip that's uh, been fertilized once, one strip that hasn't been fertilized at all, and one strip that's been fertilized like three times. And just kind of figure out how the yield is, and like, you know, if, or no, I'll do one that's fertilized three times where it's fertilized once after being seeded, once after it comes up, and then once on the next growth stage. And then one that's done, you know, the same way that we're doing it here, where it's, you know, spraying at each growth stage. This almost seems like 3D. That's going to totally drive me crazy. It seems like it's something in 3D. Like you're watching a 3D movie, but without the 3D glasses. That will mess you up. Holy smokes. I can't watch that any longer. Goodness. Holy. That'll... That'll mess you up. Goodness. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, and so I'm gonna just kind of mess with that and figure out maybe... Maybe we should only be spraying, you know, right away at the start, and then after the first growth stage, and then, you know, after that next growth stage. Because if that's the case, then that's definitely what we're going to do next season, or next year, um, versus this way where it's difficult to spray, or fertilize, or anything, because you can't see So we'll have to take care of that, figure out what we can do to uh, change that. I'm trying not to stay up here all that much, but... Alrighty guys, that is going to wrap up our spraying for second round on our beans and corn, and uh, also wrap up our video. So that'll do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Off camera, I will get this tractor washed up. I'm going to top off this sprayer and um, get all the machines ready to start combining wheat tomorrow and uh, yeah so thanks for watching you guys and as always we will see you tomorrow <laughs>